across the lands to King's Road. Wonderful. Oh, it's a piggy. Hello, piggy. Don't tell me I have to kill him. I don't want to kill no piggy. Look around. Okay. I just want to check. Yeah, it's still going. Okay, I'll just check to see my recording stuff. Hey, piggy. Hey, buddy. Uh-oh, some blood. What's that? Oh, oh my dears, what are you Fresh. doing? Why don't you just lick it while you're at it? See you, piggy. Oh, oh no, piggy! Poor piggy. Give him a hug. Oh, smoke. Must be a camp or something up ahead. Maybe we can take the cart. Can we? No. Can't go that way. Oh no, here's a rat's cart. See what's happening here. Somebody's gonna be That's in here. Father's car. I don't know if these guys are like Irish or Welsh. I, I can't like. Bolton better give us fucking titles for this. Oh. Winter may be coming, but at least still have his bacon. <gasps> Who's this? <laughs> oh no! Oh my god! Don't fucking do that, you evil cunts! Not long, boy. There's nothing for you here. Father, I said move on. Unless you want to get fed to the fucking pigs. You just killed the pigs. I'm going to kill you. Is that so? Damn right it is, You can bitch. try if you like. And then we'll feed you to the pigs. Get off my land. This is Bolton land now, boy. Lord Bolton is the new warden of the north. I reckon he'd like a proper lordly sword like that. Yeah, I can block, bitch. So this is his dad. I'll have that sword, boy. No, you won't. Aye, you'll have it right through your skull. Aye, you'll have it. Go on, go on, go on. Oh no! Close line! Block it though. No sold it. Oh no! Oh my god. Alright. Finish this fucking pig farmer. Pathetic. It's like this guy and his Harley race fucking beat. Oh, hello. You really are a pig farmer, aren't you? Axe. <laughs> Go. Oh yeah! Good one! Go on. Here's this guy in his, in his fucking spear. Come on, buddy boy! Oh! Big forearm! Get the sword, get the sword, get the sword, get the sword. Oh! No! Come on! You! Oh yeah, big kick. Oh, here he goes, here he goes, here he goes. Oh, fire him! Oh! Mercy, please. Mercy. I you. My. I family. They'll never boss. survive without me. I have no quarrel with you. I, I was only following orders. Ha, <laughs> bullshit. No, please! Oh! Lord Whiteheel will see you hang for this. That much I promise. I don't know what you did, justice or mercy. Fuck you, you try to kill me, so I'm gonna kill you right back. 
He would have probably attacked me Father? if I showed mercy. Garrett, you survived. Your sister. She hid. Oh, no. I tried to stop them. Good night, Father. I'll kill the men who did this. Yeah, it was that fat on the horse. Should have took him out while we had the chance. Ironwrath. Stronghold of House Forrester. Oh, I'm still kind of hurt a little bit. I need to get a niff through my legs, so it's kind of to be expected. It's Garrett! Get the Castellan! Tell him his nephew survived! Garrett! I was too late. They were already dead. Bring the maester. Meet us in the Great Hall. Quickly! That was uh, maybe a little bit dramatic there. Just gets in that trip. Two dead. White Hill soldiers and a Bolton. They killed my family. And for what? My sister, she... She was only eight years old. This never would have happened with the Starks in power. It's unimaginable. Unacceptable. You have my condolences. Thank you, Mister. Hmm. The blade cut deep. But I should be able to save your leg. Sweet. Your justice was swift. Some will call it vengeance. No doubt the Whitehills will claim it was murder. It was your family. I can't say I would have done any different than you. But the White Elves won't see it that way. It was justice. It was justice. They got what they deserved. They did indeed. We can't let the White Elves just walk all over us. These maggots ought to help prevent infection. Hold the wound open for me, would you? Maggots? You sure maggots in my leg? Hold A then. Oh my days, look at this! Oh my god! Oh my god, he's being serious! What the fuck? Ah! These are dark days, I fear. To lose the lord of the house and the eldest son through such a despicable act of treachery and betrayal. Greater houses than ours have fallen in times such as this. The late Lord Forrester was a good man. And poor Roderick. A serious man, but he would have made a good lord. Roderick and Lord Forrester. We can avenge them. And attack House Frey. Now is the time to find allies, not enemies. The future of this house is in Lord Ethan's hands now. Although he is young and altogether unprepared to lead. Right. Uh, this might hurt a bit. Hold this for me, will you? I do. understand from your uncle that Lord Forrester saved your life. He did. Rather odd, though, that he chose to save you, his squire, and not his son, Roderick. He promoted Roderick me. Roderick couldn't handle himself. He was as good with a sword as any man I've seen. It's unfortunate the Citadel doesn't train maesters in the art of warcraft. I imagine I'd be pretty good with a sword. That's not how it happened. Roderick had already fallen. Hmm. Well, I'd imagine Lord Forrester would sacrifice himself to save anyone from his house, high or low. Lady Forrester will be here any moment now. I'd like you to walk for me first, to see if you can put any weight on that leg. Uh. Yeah, not bad. Not Go on. Don't stop now. It's better to let the blood circulate. What, the maggots too? Mouth, I suppose. Give me some of these bandages. Hmm, 
and yoink. Take those. If you're them watching. Healing herbs. Yes, please. I'm just, this might help. I'm just openly taking his stuff with him sitting right there. Ew. It's the maggots that are in my leg. Touch. Rather cute little creatures, aren't they? Fucking, yes. They're weird. They're disgusting. Look up. Keep moving. I need to see you walk. <laughs> that was random. Okay, I want to show my sword. And not the one in my pants, you mm. sickos. Impressive. That's a good eh? thing you've done, bringing that back to House Forrester. By right, that belongs to Lord Ethan now. No. Belongs to moi. Did your leg feel weak? No. I just wanted to ask you. Why do the White Hills hate the Foresters? I think it's safe to say the feeling is mutual. There's been enmity between the two houses for as long as anyone can remember. I don't doubt someone killed someone, which led to more killings of someone's, and then, well, here we are. Uh... The White Hills want Forrester Ironwood. Ah, they'd take it all if we'd let them, especially now with the Boltons in power, and proceed to clear-cut every last inch of it until there's nothing left, just as they've done before. Who is the new lord of House Forrester? Why, Ethan, of course. Hmm, okay. At the Citadel, I swore an oath to serve whichever noble house I was assigned. Advising the late Lord Forrester was an honor. Advising Ethan, his third-born son, is challenging. There's still so much he has to learn, yet the very fate and future of this house rests in his hands. Which is rather frightening when you think about it. What will happen to me now? Excellent question. Hmm. Under normal circumstances, you could join Sir Roiland and his men. Although, given the circumstances of your... circumstances, it becomes a bit tricky, <laughs> doesn't it? I suppose it will be for Lord Ethan to decide. Lord Forrester promoted me. At the Twins, I... I'm no longer a squire, if that matters. It might, I suppose. But I'll defer to Lord Ethan on this. Can I see Ethan? Is he here? He is, but I'm afraid he's indisposed at the moment. He prefers not to be disturbed while practicing his loot. His loot. Never mind. Okay, let's, I want to check out this area. There's loads of other stuff to look at. I guess we need to go to him when it's time to leave. I'll admit, you do seem better than was to be expected. I believe your leg will be fine. No. Any time will tell. No. Lady Forrester. Ooh. Welcome home, Garrett. We're all relieved to know you survived. Thank you, my lady. Talia asked to see you. Garrett, I heard what happened. Who's this? Is it true? Your family. I'm so sorry. Mato. Off to bed now. Hurry on. Garrett was just telling me how valiantly Lord Forrester fought to the end, even when all was lost. I'm sure Lady Forrester would like to know. Whatever you can recall. He saved my life, my lady. Yet not Roderick's. You were with Roderick, no? I'm sure it was chaos and confusion. But if you can remember anything, I'm sure Lady Forrester would like to know. I'm sorry, my lady. Nothing could be done to save him. He was House Forrester's best. This has been so incredibly difficult for us, especially the children. But I was told. I was told you were the last to see my husband alive. Yes, my lady. I know it may be difficult to remember, but if I may ask, was there anything he said? Any last words before he passed? 
if you can remember. It would mean so much to the family. He mentioned something about the North Grove. The North Grove? What of it? He said, the North Grove must never be lost. The North Grove. Interesting. I see. You have the Forester's sword. This belongs with Ethan now. He's the new lord of the house. Thank you, Garrett. Of course, my lady. It demands a response. It's too dangerous, especially now. Now is the time to prove our strength. I'll be sure it's given to Ethan. Duncan, this was our land. They were our people. Your family. I share your outrage, Sir Roiland. I do. But now is not the time to provoke the White Hills. Not with Ramsay Snow coming to see us bend the knee. The hell with Ramsay Snow, the bastard. The bastard. Garrett, you understand what this means. You killed a Bolton, and Ramsay Snow will want his retribution. We're the ones that should be demanding retribution. This happened on Forrester land. They killed my family. And they'll pay for what they've done. That much, I promise. But now is not the time for vengeance. If not now, when? We have to be smart. Ramsay Snow will be here within the week. And what would you have us do? Nothing. I would have us use our heads while they're still attached to our shoulders. Ooh. Garrett has lost as much as anyone else within these walls. Maybe you can talk some sense into your uncle. Garrett's suffered enough already. You asked too much of the boy. He deserves to be heard. It was his family they killed. We should demand justice. Aye. Justice on their terms. Which means they'll have your head. Justice is taken, not demanded. Then what's to be done? <sighs> Ultimately, it will be for Lord Ethan to decide. He's just a boy who can barely hold a sword. He knows nothing of how to lead men. He is the lord of this house, and he needs our help. It's bad enough the Boltons would have us bend the knee and swear fealty. But now, this, but... I'll accuse you of murder, and us of protecting you. The boy was just defending himself. I'm not faulting him for what he did. I'd have done the same, as any man would. I've done nothing wrong. Not in their eyes. It's just the excuse Ramsay Snow would need to put us to the torch and kill us all. I'd like to see them try. I'm afraid it's a risk we cannot take, which is why you cannot stay. Cannot stay? Duncan, the boy has suffered enough. But, but where would I go? The one place beyond the reach of even House Bolton. You're sending him to the wall? The boy's done nothing wrong. Not in the eyes of the Boltons. I'm afraid it's the only solution, especially now, when the house is so vulnerable. Uncle, you can't send me to the wall. I'm not a criminal. There'd be nothing we could do to protect you. To stay would bring destruction upon us all. I know that's not what you want, but I know it's difficult to understand. But you must think of the house. I won't put others at risk. I'll go. I know it doesn't seem fair, but it is what's best. That settles it, settles it then. That settles it, settles it. You can have my horse, and I'll see you have plenty of food. But we haven't much time. The White Hills will come looking for you. Should have hid the bodies, then nobody would know about this. Should have fed them to the pigs. Then nobody would know where they went. <laughs>